from rolling. That's the watchword today, whether it be for tanks, cannons, railroads, trucks, or tractors. Keep them rolling for the duration. That's the job. And that's the job on the farm, too. Never was there a time when it was more important than right now to get the machinery of production on the farm ready for a hard year's work. Hard because less help means just that. Harder work on the machine end. And this is one production line that must not fail. To keep any kind of a machine rolling, on land or sea, on the highway or the farm, careful attention to maintenance is most important. Tractors are the business end of the farm production line and furnish the power to operate a large percentage of the machines so vital to the production of foodstuffs and clothing. Let's look at a tractor and see what the average operator can do to keep it rolling steadily, economically. Here's a cross-section of a standard model two-pow tractor. It has all of the modern equipment necessary to provide long life and trouble-free operation with a minimum of attention. This machine has a four-cylinder valve and head engine with renewable cylinder liners, inserted valve seats, precision bearings, four-speed lubrication, and every possible provision for protection from dirt and dust. Let's take a closer look at your tractor and see how easy it is to keep this machine rolling at top performance and with just a little regular attention. Suppose we start in with the tires. While these are considerably larger and have greater ground contact than most other equal-powered machines, and while they'll stand a lot of abuse, all tires will last longer if we look after them. Keep inflated to normal pressure. Repair surface cuts as quickly as possible. And store out of the sun when not in use. Front tires require the same attention. And while we are at it, let's look at the front wheels. They are mounted on adjustable tapered roller bearings that can and should be adjusted occasionally and, of course, greased regularly. Now let's look at the engine end of this machine, see how it's built. Here's the engine block, a single casting with ample ribs and stiffeners to supply the necessary rigidity. Renewable cylinder liners are the big feature here, and it's easy to see why. Being renewable, they are of uniform thickness and can be machined inside and out. This ensures equal expansion and allows for closer fits. Remember this because we are coming back to it. These liners are really complete cylinders and extend the full length of the block so that cooling will cover every inch of the area and eliminate hot spots. Then when the cylinder or piston wears, it is not necessary to rebore or buy a new engine. New liners, Pistons and rings give you a new engine in these vital spots. Pistons and liners are made to fit closely. Here's an example. Two pistons and a sleeve, no rings, remember, yet so closely do they fit that one will pull the other through the bore by vacuum alone. Close fits and fine finishes are the reason. What can you do to preserve these fine finishes and make them last longer in actual farm work where dust and mud are everyday occurrences? Well, we said in the beginning that this machine had every possible protection from dust and dirt, and it has. But the owner or operator must do his part. To keep dust and dirt out of these vital parts, there's an oil bath air cleaner that cleans all of the air going to the engine. This air cleaner requires attention every working day, particularly in dusty conditions. Follow the maker's instructions religiously on this and all other maintenance items, and you'll keep it rolling. A little dust in those tight pistons, and they won't be tight anymore. The pressure lubricating system on the tractor pumps oil from a reservoir in the bottom of the crankcase to all of the moving parts inside the engine. It pumps the same oil over and over again. Remember those precision bearings on the crankshaft and connecting rods? There's no room for dirt here. Keep them clean. An oil filter is provided for just this job. Keep dust and dirt out of these fine surfaces. This filter is quickly and easily replaceable. Follow instructions on this and it will pay many times over. The crankcase on every engine has to breathe. Air is moved around by the pistons going up and down. 
Your engine needs clean air. Did you ever think of that? Well, to take care of this and still keep the crankcase clean, there's a crankcase breather. Just a simple filter that requires washing at intervals. Do you do it? Better read that book. Oil seals are provided on every important bearing. They may never need attention, but keep them in mind, particularly if leaks develop. The valve in head type of engine has many advantages over any other. The whole force exerted by the burning gases is used to push the piston. Then it's much more accessible. The renewable valve seats are in the head where they can be quickly examined if necessary. The whole head with valves, guides, and tappets can be removed in a few minutes and inspected, and any necessary repairs are easy to make. Straight line drives simplify the transmission system to the greatest possible extent and make this part of the tractor very easy to maintain. The transmission is of the simple automotive type and requires little attention other than keeping the oil of the proper weight up to the proper height to lubricate all gears and bearings. The final drives are of the bull gear and pinion type. This type of construction allows for high clearance for cultivation. It also spreads the drive to two master gears instead of one, thus keeping down the gear pressures. Here again, maintenance of the indicated oil levels is all that is necessary. Pretty simple, isn't it? There are only a few bearings on the whole machine that are not lubricated for maintained reservoirs. A study of the instruction book will cover these. A few minutes a day will keep the repairman away. Spend these few minutes and you too can keep it rolling. Rolling through spring plowing when every lost hour may mean getting the crop in too late. Rolling through seed bed preparation when the season breaks in a hurry and you may want to work night and day for a while to catch up. You can do it with this machine as lights and starter are standard equipment. Then seeding time when you'd like to plant your entire acreage in one day and through corn and bean and cotton planting time when speed is usually necessary. These are the times when you appreciate a well set up machine, whether it be old or new. And when it's time to cultivate your row crops, you're going to appreciate that quick hitch cultivator that can be hitched or unhitched in just a few minutes. No wrenches, construction bars, and no help needed. A one-man, two-minute job, and you can keep her rolling at any speed you require. Heat dust, wind, or calm, it's all the same to this outfit. The acres roll off at a pace that depends on the height of the crop. Paying will also roll right along, and you are the only judge as to the speed at which you want to roll. A power-operated mower can cut huge acreages in a day. Stackers, side delivery rakes, hay loaders, balers, ensilage harvesters, in fact, Every kind of power takeoff machine can be operated at speed if you have taken the simple steps necessary to keep your tractor rolling. Harvest time is the one time that everything must roll and smoothly, as this is payday. We'll just hitch on to the harvester and go. It's a one-man job today, very largely because this particular tractor pioneered the way with a power takeoff that really worked and a governor that kept the speeds on the harvester uniform and steady. Keep it rolling for our biggest crop of the year, corn. When the frost comes, be ready with antifreeze and winter oils. Be ready. That's the watchword in America today. Be ready with your tractor for the biggest producing job you've ever tackled. Watch your oil levels. Check those air filters. Keep your tires up. A few minutes of careful attention every day may save weeks of valuable production time in our country's defense program. Keep these machines ready and keep them rolling.